this is what my English was like a year ago. Right now, I no longer use textbooks because I find them boring. This is what my English sounds like right now. And also right now my job is a hundred percent in English because I make videos in English, I prepare for my videos in English. Yeah, let's talk about it. Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be sharing five amazing tips that helped me transform my English in just one year and led me to start speaking English in a faster and more confident way. The first thing that helped me expand my vocabulary was reading authentic English materials every single day. As you guys know, I love reading books, but sometimes the language authors use in classical literature and nonfiction is extremely formal. And that's why I decided to go on a journey to find a resource that I could use every single day to learn something new about the world and to improve my English. And let me tell you guys, I found it. It's the daily email newsletter called Morning Brew that covers the latest news from the world of business and finance. It's a completely free resource that I use every single morning to start my day on a productive note. Because before Morning Brew, all I was doing in the morning was scrolling through my phone, being on social media, on Instagram, and just not doing anything productive and not learning anything about the world. But now I just spend five minutes learning something new about the world and memorizing new expressions because I know that they will help me eventually when I start talking to native speakers in English. And even though Morning Brew is sponsoring this video, I use their daily newsletter every single day guys i'm subscribed to their newsletter because i'm interested in the world of business and finance the reason i love morning brew so much is that first of all it's free but also because their newsletter is not boring or dry they always talk about the most fascinating things in a witty relevant and informative way for example a couple of days ago i learned that baby shark already the most viewed video on youtube became the first to hit 10 billion views guys can you imagine 10 billion views it's absolutely crazy and even from the sentence guys you can already learn a great expression to hit a next number of views and i really hope this video hits a hundred thousand views i understand i'm not as fun as baby shark but let's make it happen like and subscribe so if you're interested in business finance and tech and want to improve your english skills with authentic materials subscribe to the morning brew newsletter completely for free by using the link in the description the second thing that helped me improve my speaking skills in english was listening to podcasts in english i genuinely love listening to podcasts because I'm learning English while doing boring tasks like washing the dishes, cleaning up, and mopping the floors. I always make sure to listen to something when I'm doing all of that. Podcasts are a great resource that can help you understand native speakers better because you'll be listening to those native speakers for hours and hours. I usually offer podcasts about business and finance, psychology and relationships, nutrition and health because this is something I'm interested in and this is actually gets the most important important thing. You should only listen to podcasts you enjoy listening to and the topics that make you excited and that make you want to come back to the podcast every single time they release a new episode. And also highly recommend you guys to listen to different kinds of podcasts and not only focus on the first one you found because believe me there are so many amazing podcasts out there. This way you'll be exposing yourself to different accents and dialects and you also learn new vocabulary on on different topics and guys this will help you so much. If you're still not confident in your listening skills, you could first start by listening to podcasts for non-native speakers like All Ears English and Six Minute English from the BBC. Their episodes are usually for pre-intermediate and intermediate students who want to improve their grammar skills in English but also learn something new maybe about the British culture or the American culture as well. But if you're upper intermediate or advanced, the world is your oyster. You can pick any podcast you're interested in and just listen to as many episodes as you can when you're going on a run, waiting in line, or commuting to and from work. Tip number three that helped me a lot with my English and also with my depression and anxiety is writing down your thoughts in English. This is actually a very important part before you start speaking in English because usually even in our native language we talk about very basic things including our emotions but it 
is so incredibly hard for non-native speakers to express themselves, to talk about their emotions. So journaling can help you create those basic sentences about your day, about your emotions. If you always feel like you're a very anxious person and you constantly have to calm yourself down, give journaling a try, it might help you. And if you practice writing down your thoughts and daily tasks in English, once you're one-on-one -on -one with a native speaker, it will be easier for you to reconstruct those sentences and say them in real life. So overall, I think that journaling is a very healthy habit because it helps you improve your writing skills in English, it helps you with your anxiety, and also it helps you stay on track with your everyday tasks. Tip number four that I often implement even right now is reading out loud. Again, let's use myself as an example. To be honest, usually when I read, I don't really read out loud because I find it distracting and also I just want to read faster and typically when I read out loud I don't read that fast. The reason why I don't read that fast when I read out loud is that I have to be really mindful about the correct pronunciation and the correct intonation and this is exactly why you should try reading out loud as well because when you just read books in English or in your native language we typically don't really think about the correct pronunciation of all the words we read in every single sentence but sometimes there are certain words where you know the meaning of these words but you're not really sure about the pronunciation and so when you just read not out loud you're like it's okay you know i know the meaning of it and that's the most important thing if you just don't want to hustle too much and like do too much just read you know it's fine but if you want to take your english one step further it's going to be great if you read out loud because it forces you to look up the correct pronunciation of the words you don't know and this way you're moving forward towards your goal of speaking faster in english for example a couple of months ago i was reading a book and there was a word incapacitated i know the meaning of the word but it's just so long that i am always not sure about the correct pronunciation. I mean, I kind of know, you know, the correct pronunciation, but to pronounce it myself, you know, I'm too lazy. This word is too long. It's never used anyway. You know, it's very formal. So I'm like, it's fine. But once I started reading out loud, I was forced to look up the correct pronunciation of the word. And I was forced to repeat it myself. And now guys, here I am. I know and I remember the correct pronunciation of this word. And also sometimes when I read fiction, I like to change my voice depending on the character, right? So remember when we were all kids, our parents would read to us and they would change the pitch of their voice depending on the character. This is something I also do. I know sometimes maybe it looks funny, but I don't care because I'm just enjoying the book and I want to improve my pronunciation. So if you like reading and you want to improve your English skills through books, I have a very cool video on my YouTube channel that can help you do just that. So my tip number five is record yourself while speaking English. And here we're really talking about actually speaking in English. So if you feel like you're too anxious and intimidated to talk to people in English, you should first start with recording yourself while speaking in English. It can be in a form of a diary, like instead of writing down your thoughts, right? The tip about journaling, you can instead like video journal, you know, create a video and just talk about your day, talk about your feelings in English. This is actually something writers do a lot. I mean, usually they don't create a video, but they just record their voice. You know, for example, if they have like a great idea for a sentence, like a great line, for example, for their book, they would just press record, like and create a voice memo, right? And this is something you can also do. If you don't want to create a video, just do a voice memo instead. It will help you improve your English because you'll be forced to speak in English, but you will also be able to just talk about your day. You know, no one has to watch this video or listen to your voice memo, just you. Just talk about anything you want to in English. And nowadays, another thing we can also do is talk to our voice assistants. Like for example, we have Siri, we have Alexa, we also have the Google voice assistant, so many different ones. And guys, take this opportunity and talk to them. Obviously, you don't need to have like a full-on conversation, unless you want to. Usually I don't. I just ask Siri to do basic tasks for me. For example, like creating a note or maybe setting a timer for me, you know, just very basic things in English. Hey Siri, create a note. What do you want it to say? I'm filming a YouTube video right now and I am teaching people how to improve their speaking skills in English. Okay, I created a note. I'm filming a YouTube video right now 
And I am teaching people how. And I'm teaching people how to improve their speaking skills in English. Everything was correct. It was amazing, guys. So this is something that I often do when I have to create a note. And I would highly recommend you do it as well because it's easy. You're talking to a voice assistant. It's fun. So definitely try this out. And here, let's just include a bonus tip because obviously not everyone has an opportunity to find a speaking partner for themselves. But if you do, you should try to find a speaking partner and actually practice English with a real person. Because obviously all the tips that I've mentioned are great, amazing. You should definitely implement them. But if you want to improve your speaking skills faster, it would be great if you could actually speak to a native speaker or maybe to a non-native speaker whose English level is good in English. But I think for a lot of people, speaking better and faster in English means bypassing all the tips that I've mentioned above. But in reality, it's not really that simple because obviously if you have this opportunity, okay, just speak English as much as you can. But also if you implement all the other things, you will improve your English faster. And so how can you find a speaking partner? What I did was I started participating in different English speaking clubs. I live in Moscow right now and we have a lot of great places where non-native speakers come and practice their English. And this is actually one of the reasons why I decided to create my own English speaking club. And all the meetings are online, we have workshops with me, and you also practice English with other students there. And we will open our next cohort in a few weeks. So guys, if you're interested, the link will be also in the description. You can also do a language exchange, and this is something that I do as well. For example, my native language is Russian, and I'm talking to a guy whose native language is English. And instead, I'm helping him learn Russian, you know? So he's American, he helps me learn English, he helps me practice my speaking skills, and I help him improve his Russian as well. And it's completely free for both of us. So guys, I think it's gonna be it for today's video. I really hope you liked it because all of these tips I use myself to improve my speaking skills. And as you can see, I kinda did because a year ago, I think, but maybe I'm not sure my English was a little bit worse than it is right now. I really want to think this way. I really want to think that I'm improving, but I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you feel like my English has improved or not. And guys, make sure to subscribe to Morning Brew completely for free because this is something that I use as well to stay up to date with all the recent news about business, finance, money, crypto, anything and everything. And I think this will benefit you a lot. So guys, make sure to subscribe and follow me on Instagram. You can also join join me here on YouTube by clicking this join button or you can also support me on Patreon and in turn get a lot of exclusive perks and additional content to learn English. So thank you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye!